Republicans rarely question President Trump, but a Texas lawmaker said the president is going too far, criticizing Amazon. State Rep Matt Krause is a Republican from Fort Worth. He is a member of the Freedom Caucus, and he is in studio this morning to talk about that and a number of things this morning. And joining the questioning, as always, is Bud Kennedy of the Star-Telegram. We have the whole Fort Worth contingent here this morning. Good morning. Right. Good morning. Once Matt. again. Matt, thanks for coming in. Let's start out with uh, Amazon, too. President Trump has been criticizing the owner, Jeff Bezos. Where did the president go too far, in your opinion? Well, I, I think that was it. He's criticizing the owner of Amazon, right? If, if you think they're too big or maybe there's some unfair market competition or these acquisitions are making them too large, let's look at that. I mean, we've had a history of that over the years, uh, Ma Bell, Microsoft, we, we've looked at them. But when it seems personal, he, he's, you know, he's looking for ways to do things to Jeff Bezos that I can't say on a family-friendly Sunday morning show. You know, that to me is where it crosses the line. Go after the policy, but if you're just looking to mess with somebody and use the mechanism of government bureaucracy to actually penalize or punish somebody, to me, that's where it goes too far. Is this a personal grudge against the owner of Amazon? It seems like it. Uh, to me, it seems like it boils down to the Washington Post uh, and maybe some of its coverage of President Trump. You because say, he, owns the the two? he owns the Washington Post. Yeah. Post. So that's kind of what I gather from the tweets and other statements. So that, that's where I think it, it goes into the realm of, hey, that's not what the government should be ha doing. Have you heard from any fellow Republicans about this reaction you have? I, I've heard a few. I, I've heard what some say. Some say, hey, I'm, I'm glad we're looking at Amazon. I, I think they're too big. Maybe we ought to look at Microsoft, yeah. uh, I mean, Facebook and and uh, and Google uh, the same way. But then pretty much everybody says you, you shouldn't be going after. We'd be livid if the o Obama administration was going after a conservative businessman or woman because of their certain beliefs when it doesn't seem tied to the actual business policy. Is this tough on you? You have a lot of Amazon, Facebook workers living in your district from Alliance. I mean, Alliance has all these distribution hubs. I mean, yeah. when the Republicans start railing against these big successful companies, where does that leave you? Yeah, I, I, hopefully it leaves me in the same place I'm at today. I just <laughs> want to be consistent. Uh, I, I think Amazon provides a great service, even with the whole postal situation. Uh, it it's actually helps the postal system stay afloat in many ways. So I, I think we have to be careful uh, what, when we attack and make sure we're doing it on a principled basis. I, I want to ask you about the Republican position. The, generally, the state party position on guns is the Second Amendment, and, and that's it. And that the, that uh, licensing, all the uh, everything should be optional. That we have license to carry. Is that a uh, is that a, a platform that's going to win in this in this campaign? Do people really feel that way? Do you think Texans believe that, that there should be no gun laws? I, I think Texans are very concerned right now that the national debate is against the Second Amendment. And so what I think you're going to see is more and more, we have the NRA convention in Dallas in just a couple of weeks, and what I think you're going to see is strong support from many Texans and many of those around the country saying the Second Amendment means something. We need to make sure it continues to mean something. Uh, those rights shall not be infringed. And I think you're going to see most, more, more and more Texans continue to support the Texas public uh, Republican platform on firearms. But is it really against the Second Amendment, or is it, or is it against you know, the, the AR-15s and these uh, assault-type weapons. Well, I, I think it's against the Second Amendment anytime you have all these policies that are designed to they don't really address the problem that they're seeking supposedly to uh, to solve, right? I mean, you, every time there's one of these mass shootings, you have all these different, uh, okay, so AR-15s, you're, you're, you're going to ban those. Well, there's uh, thousands of those AR-15s yeah. in Texas. What are you going to do to those at that point? Just grandfather those in? Well, then you still have the same problem as before. Or are you going to say, no, we're going to round all those up? And then that's when people start getting nervous that that starts violating the Second Amendment. Well, now, Judge, Judge Scalia said you get to have guns for home defense, personal protection. That's it. I mean, the Supreme Court has not said shall not be infringed, leaves it open to everything. That seems to be what Republicans want. Well, I, I think we're going to continue to see cases and, and different cases and controversies before the Supreme Court that's going to expound on that a little bit more. We do know that the Heller decision stood for that you do have an absolute right to protect yourself with a firearm. It didn't say only these certain types of firearms, uh, these other types. Uh, just this past week with YouTube being shot up, it was a handgun, uh, what I believe. So now we're going to say, no, you can't have any more handguns. So I, I think that's where the... the questions come in, but the Supreme Court has been very clear. You can protect yourself uh, with firearms, and, and that's where the law is today. Why do Republicans call that a God-given right? 
Well, I think uh, it comes from the basic premise that government doesn't give rights. We recognize and uh, protect those that are given to you by God. And so any, any of those initial rights in the, in the Bill of Rights, those first 10 amendments, uh, that's not, go government didn't give you the right to defend yourself. Government didn't give you the right to have free speech. They've just recognized it. And if it doesn't come from government, it's gotta come from somewhere else, that's God. Matt, I wanna switch off to another issue here too. You want to eliminate an almost 30 year old state law that prohibits people from re renewing their professional licenses like teaching certificates nursing licenses, et cetera, if they don't pay student loans. Right. Why now? This has been on the books forever. Why hasn't the legislature recognized this until now? You know, un unfortunately, sometimes it's only when somebody brings it to your attention or it's made an issue that you that you act on it. Uh, the Texas Tribune actually did a great report on this and how it affects uh, Texans. And to me, it seems so counterintuitive. Okay, we want you to pay off your student loans, but we're going to take away your occupational license to allow you to work to pay off those student loans. And it's been funny, my, my friend from uh, El Paso, Joe Moody, a, a Democrat, called me the other day and said, I might have to join the Freedom Caucus because, you know, the Freedom Caucus has come out on this. Democrats are on this. This is a good bipartisan issue that I think we can all rally behind to not unfairly hurt Texans. They still need to pay back those loans, of course, but this is probably the wrong way to go about punishing them for not doing it. Matt, we have 45 seconds left. I want to ask you something else, uh, too. Your faith is very important to you. I want, I want to ask you about morally. How would you rank President Trump? Oh, that's a great question. Now, are you saying in office or before office? In, and, and in I think office. That he's a president now, so knowing what we have learned in the past 18 months since he's, or you know, less than that since he's been elected, how would you rank him? You know, I, I think everybody struggles with uh, their faith and, and the way that uh, they live that out. Uh, there's certainly things that the president says or does that I don't agree with. There's probably things I, I do and say that he does not agree with. Um, from what I've heard from people who are close to him, his faith has gotten much more important to him and stronger to him even since he started running for president. Uh, and so I, I think that should count for something. But uh, I, I don't think... Uh, we should be above holding our elected leaders accountable. We always said that during the Clinton administration, the character matters in the White House. It still does. And so when he steps out of line, I think we need to continue to call him on that. All right. State Rep. Matt Krause, Republican from Fort Worth. It was good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. I appreciate it. Always enjoy it.